name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking in this video and deciding to watch me. Today we are back with more fairy tale. We are watching season one, episode 11, The Cursed Island, which I'm excited to see what will happen here. We're taking on an S tier quest, which is like above our rank. So it's going to be very interesting to see how we handle this. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are as well. Please keep in mind, if you want to see the next reaction early or just support the channel, you can go to my Patreon page, link down in the description below to get access to the full reactions over there. But without further ado, let's get started. Say what? One of the jobs from the second floor is missing? But the jobs up there are S-Class quests. Anyone know who took off with it? Well, it's either someone really strong or really stupid. <laughs> Why not A both? little blue cat flew up here and ripped it off the board. You must have stolen it for that sort of reason. It's crazy. What are uh -oh. they thinking? They've got some nerve taking on an S class quest. Hey, Gramps, stunt like that will get you kicked out of the guild. Am I right? It's not like those three losers are going to make it back alive from an S class quest. Um. All I saw was a blue cat flying off with a piece of paper in its mouth trying to act all sneaky. I had no idea it was happy. Oh, happy. Dreamed he'd break the rules. You haven't given me that look in a while. Oh. Wow, that was a terrifying look. The Luna Island! Are they insane? They're even dumber, dumber than we thought. Oh. Watch us go and fetch them at once. Yeah, right. Besides, everybody in fairy tale is supposed to be able to take care of themselves. The fact is, you're the only one strong enough to bring him back by force. Oh. Sorry, Master. Uh -oh. But I'm afraid I gotta disagree with you. Oh? And the plot thickens! Wow, this brings back memories. It was yesterday. You don't have to get all mushy. I've had it with you and your emotional constipation! Let's go find a boat that'll take us to Galuna. Are you crazy? Forget the boat. Why can't we all just swim for it? Do you think I'm the one who's crazy? Why would you want to swim for it? I don't think anyone here would be willing to take you. Okay, that so this island is like severely cursed. Got it. A terrible curse. I found you. Ah! It's great. What are you doing here? Gramps found out about your harebrained scheme and sent me to bring you back. Why? We're not in danger yet. If you come back now, you might avoid being kicked out of the guild. Maybe. Ooh. You're way out of your league here. Just yeah. come home. When Ursa finds out about this, she's gonna be so angry. I told them this is a bad idea, but they forced me. Happy, you jerk. Like it or not, I'm doing this! Master ordered me to bring you home. I'll drag you back to fairy tale fight. Oh my god, boys. Excuse me, but are you wizards? Hmm? Have you come to let the curse on the island? Yeah. Well, maybe. Oh boy. Not gonna happen. Get in. What? Seriously? No way! Uh, you sure we should bring him? We're just him taking him, him by force. Tell the guild, because the next person they'll send is ours. Yeah. Well, look on the bright side. At least you're not tied up. Why get a side to let us on? The name is Fobo. I used to be a citizen of Galoon Island. Oh. But I had to flee. Tragedy befalls anyone who steps foot on the island. Unless you're able to lift the curse. All right. <laughs> oh. Inspire the demon's curse. What the fuck? We're almost there. That's okay. Um. Shit, wow, that's intimidating. Why is the mountaintop glowing like that? Zero, what the? Where'd he go? Did he um, fall out? It's like he disappeared in the air. Um, our, ca our captain, our ship captain is just fucking gone. Say gone. Just hold on. The cursed island of Galuna. Looks like you made it, you guys! Awesome. You're lucky that we washed us ashore. I can't help but wonder what happened to the guy who brought us here. Yeah. Forget about that stuff for now and let's go exploring! Ah, okay. We've been here like 30 seconds. So you guys have already forgotten about the mission? The village chief is the one who originally put in the request. So oh. Not so fast. You can't take us back to the guild now that yeah, our boat's been destroyed. Stuck. You're right. I'm coming with you. Oh good, thank you. You mean like on vacay? Let's all go road trip! No way I'm gonna let the two of you clowns make S class before I do. And ah. if you were kicked out, the guild would be pretty boring. Oh. 
pull this off, he won't stay mad at us for long. But there. <laughs> he has no choice but to accept us then. Yeah. We found the village. Now what? Anyone home? We came here to help you! Let's bust it. No way! Oh. Who goes there? We're wizards from Fairy Tale responding to your request! Why weren't we notified when you accepted the job? Uh, oh. What? Sorry, it was probably just a mix up with the paperwork. Then let me see your emblems! Right now! They're here! They're Aww. really here! On behalf of everyone here, I welcome you. Pleasantries aside, there's something you need to see. Now, my people! Oh, boy. Oh, wow, you're sideburns! Not that! I'm those are impressive sideburns. But what makes you think it's a curse, sir? It could be some kind of infectious disease. We've consulted with dozens of doctors, young man, <laughs> but they all agree that no such disease exists. <laughs> Symptoms began around the same time the moon fell under an evil spell. Since ancient times, this island has absorbed the light of the moon, oh? causing it to glow almost as beautifully as the moon itself. The moon's color began to change, and an eerie purple glow was oh. cast upon the island. Something creepy. Man, that's creepy looking. Oh. It's the curse. What? <laughs> They're changing. Yeah, I see that. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a Pirates of the Caribbean like type of thing going on here. You poor people. Oh man. Yeah. It looks so cool. Huh? Not to. I'm so jealous. He thinks we look cool. No one's ever said that to us. Before. <laughs> so you're being they want to look like this. I guess we should help them out. That is why we're here. Get a clue, man. Whenever the purple moon shows its face in the sky, everyone in the village takes on a horrific demon form. Oh, huh. there are some poor souls who can no longer switch back to their human forms for they have oh. lost their minds. We've no choice but to put them to death. <laughs> but they might change. Oh, damn. Boy, that escalated quickly. Once it takes all, there's no way to save them. I was forced to kill my very own son. Oh! Why? We just saw him yesterday. Shh. Now I understand why he disappeared on us like that. Oh. He's dead, but his soul can't rest in peace. <laughs> oh, you don't say. Huh? We'll die. We're not going to let that happen. There's only one way this wretched curse can be lifted. Okay. The moon. The moon must be wiped from the sky! I can't do that. Do these people really think we can destroy the moon? I wonder how many punches it'll take. You think I can handle it? Are you kidding me? We can't destroy the moon. There's not a wizard alive who's strong enough to do that. But that's the job we were hired to do, isn't it? What they're asking can't be done. Technically, we never truly accepted the quest. We might be able to find a different way to lift the curse from the island. <laughs> you kids can do what you want, but after the day I've had, I need some shut-eye. Please don't take off anymore. Okay, <laughs> our investigation starts tomorrow morning. I'm hitting the set. Good night. <sighs> oh. Oh, you're supposed to sleep with the beast yeah, in the I'm so sorry, honey. I cannot stand when people snore. Oh, it's so rough. You two hit me up all night and I'm not complaining. So stop whining and let <laughs> I like the green. You really okay. think we'll be able to find another way to lift the curse? The village may think the moon's cursed, but everyone else likes it. And yeah. destroying it might really mess things up. You're right! Won't you guys keep it down? We don't know what's lurking out here, so we shouldn't draw any attention. This curse is freaking me out. We have no idea what we're up against, and I'm scared. Yeah, I bet I could probably freeze that stupid curse. You guys are idiots. She retorts disparagingly. Yes, they are, Lucy. You're absolutely correct. What's that? Whoa! Whoa! What the? It's you! That's what she said. <laughs> um. I spent shields. You seriously just sneak inside here? I'm. That's just a little blue cat. Shut up, Natsu! We should go hide while we have the chance! We should take it while we have the chance! I mean, actually, they make a good point. This place is massive! Yeah, and it's falling apart. I wonder how old it is. They're moons. The 
it makes sense. Galona used to be called the Island of the Moon. Yeah, this place is a wreck. I don't this know. This doesn't even look safe to walk on. Well, don't go stomping on us! <laughs> God damn it. Why are you like this? Can you fly us out of here, Happy? No. Sorry. We're underneath the temple. Wow! It's a secret cave! This is so cool! Let's go get out! running around like a crazy person! Hey guys, what's that? That's impossible. Um, what the hell is that? It's Deliora. How could this happen? What the hell is it doing on Galuna Island? You've seen this thing before? It's Deliora, the demon of destruction. Oh. It doesn't make any sense. Uh. The voices seem to come from down here. Were you exposed to the moon drip? You've got those pointy ears. I already told you! They're a fashion statement, you jerk! No, I was just teasing you. Could hmm. be in the name of the curse? Something terrible has happened. What now, Sherry? It's Angelica. She's been attacked, and I'm sad. You're holding around because oh. somebody beat up your stupid pet rat? She's not a rat. She what? is. What? And they don't look like they have the demon curse. This news would displease the cult emperor. We should get rid of them before he finds out. Cult emperor? Find them before the moon's first light. Agreed. Since they've seen Deliora, we can't allow them to live. We'll give them the gift of eternal rest. Oh! We'll give them love. You're talking about. Oh! Uh... All right, they are an odd bunch. We should have grabbed them and beat some answers out of them. Not yet. We don't know what we're dealing with. Right? Like, who is this cold emperor guy? I still don't understand what anyone would want with it. Chaos? Mass destruction, probably. To get revenge on being outcasted. There's lots of reasons why people would want it. This immortal demon ravaged his farm. The woman who taught me how to use my magic, my master, Ur, sacrificed everything to seal it away. Oh. I don't know if it has anything to do with the curse on the side. It doesn't belong here. This cold emperor. We have to find out who it is. If they tarnish my master's legacy, they're gonna regret the day they were born. All right. Okay. Uh, fun. Immediately, I have to say, I love that Gray already has a reason to care and be here now. Because, like, I get they sort of kidnapped him and brought him here against his will, more or less. But I was like, oh, like, it kind of sucks that he's just randomly here to just, you know, be our ice person. But, like, no. He actually has some stake in it because his master was the one that locked away this horrific beast. So I really enjoy that. That's just nice writing. Is it like convenient? Yes, of course. But that's just nice writing. You know, I enjoy it when everybody has a bit of a, a stake in what's happening and cares. So that's going to be very interesting. We have at least three individuals who are, you know, a part of this cult and then we have the cult leader which we don't know and have not seen yet so definitely interesting things are happening here on this island i'm excited to kind of see more of what this moon drip does does it affect them does it not affect them it seems like it can but at the same time how are are characters going to protect themselves? Like how much moon drip before you start having like a change within you? That's kind of my question. I don't know if we'll get that answer as we continue on, but I'm certainly interested. Like I said, I would assume this little arc is going to be a few episodes. Obviously we have to have one more episode, but I would assume we're probably going to have another two or three episodes of this because it's such a big island and there's at least three people that we can beat up for including the cult leader so i feel like there's a lot that we can do and obviously we can't go home until we beat it because if we go home without beating it we are probably gonna get like kicked out of the guild so our only way to stay in the guild is to lift the curse and save everybody here hopefully without us dying of course as well and then we'll get to see what cool key Lucy will get, which will be fun. But I think it's all very interesting. Obviously, we're going to have to take down those people. The little, like, 
redhead. I don't know if it's pink actually, but she was cute. I was like, she's like, we'll defeat it with love. Like, <laughs> she's so adorable and so extra. And she has like a rat that she like dressed up to like protect and fight is weird as well. Very, very odd. But yeah, I like it. She's kind of got like a little like gothic Lolita-esque look to her. Maybe not Lolita, but I like the little gothic look and that little like, is it a scarf or something? Those white trails on like her shoulder look really cool. So I like her design. And then the other two are just odd. They're just odd. <laughs> so I'm curious what we're going to do about the big bad that's encased in ice. Since, uh, you know, we only were able to defeat it because of Gray's master. And uh, I don't know who could be strong enough to re-encase something like that. So terrifying. Along with that, I am very curious if Urza is going to be coming around at all. Since uh, obviously they're not coming back home yet. I would assume Urza is probably going to come in in like an episode or two and be like, where have you been? And it's like, oh no, Urza, oh, or something along those lines. <laughs> but I really do like this show. It's a good anime. It's very adorable. Um, It's definitely making me a little bit sad that I never watched it when I was growing up because I definitely would have liked it. Uh, the only like long form anime I ended up watching growing up was Inunasha. And I think it just had enough of the romance aspect that kept me going because I am a guilty pleasure is romance anime, of course. <laughs> but I like this. This is very fun. I like the adventures. I like our, our comicalness between our group members. I enjoy just the strength and friendship of bonds that is forming. And of course, I like these um little arcs of story that... We're not always going on some random fetch quest type thing. Like we can have time to like learn about this island. Each of these people probably have like a fight with them. It's just built very nicely. So I definitely enjoy it. I'm very excited to kind of continue on because we have a lot of episodes of fairy tale, obviously. So we get to enjoy it for quite a while, <laughs> which I'm very, very thankful for because it's nice. Like when you watch like anime episodes, they're only like 12 or 24 episodes, like in like a blink of an eye, like it's gone. And then you just don't get much more of those characters unless you read the manga, if the manga even has more. So it's just nice kind of having fairy tale and be like, okay, yeah, like we get to watch this for like a while. Like that's fun. So I am definitely excited to continue on and see how our, uh, cursed, adventure on the island goes and how we will solve it and push through <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching this with me i really do appreciate it please make sure if you like this to like share subscribe all that fun jazz it does mean a lot to know that you guys are enjoying fairy tale and i really do appreciate it so thank you all so much and i'll see you all later bye <laughs>